you suffer from PCOS or any type of insulin resistance, this video is for you, my loves. Telltale sign of PCOS is insulin resistance, right? Where your body is not able to use that insulin for energy. So as a result, your pancreas starts making <laughs> more insulin. I'm so crazy. Obviously this isn't good because when you got too much sugar in your blood, now you're at risk for all of the things, the obesity, the diabetes, blah, 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 blah. Okay, we're on the same page, cool. And now we're back to PCOS. So if you're a lady that has PCOS, more often than not, when women first start working out, they want to do a lot of hit, a lot of jumping stuff, a lot of lightweighted stuff, or even go really heavy for a very long time. So you're probably thinking, what workout should I be doing with PCOS? Because contrary to what's going around in a lot of fitness spaces, no, you don't need to strength train really heavy for an hour, five days a week, because that's still prolonged stress, right? What you want to do is incorporate a little bit of both. Do your yoga, do your Pilates, um, keep your hit to a minimum. But when it comes to strength training, it'll be much better for you to do 30 or 40 minute sessions two to three times a week instead of trying to run your body into the ground five days a week. Does this make sense? Hope this helps.